Yeah, so we did um, an international um, randomized phase 3 trial called HD16 for early stage Hodgkin's lymphoma patients, um, trying to figure out if we can identify um, patients that don't need radiotherapy after the chemotherapy. Um, and we tried to do this by, by the use of PET scan um, and, and assumed that the PET negative patients might be those who don't need radiotherapy um, without losing um, tumor control. But unfortunately, it turned out that this is not possible. So we, we lose tumor control, actually, um, after um, if we don't apply radiotherapy to the PET-negative patients. This was one of the main results from the trial. And the other uh, question was if the PET-positive patients, despite getting radiotherapy, um, if this is um, truly a group that is on higher risk for relapse. And um, this was also confirmed, um, not as we initially thought, but um, we, we just um, split up the patient different groups by um, using the Deauville score, which is, is a marker or a type for intensity of the PET scanning. And um, it turned out that um, Deauville score 4 patients, so the most intense um, actually a PET um, signal, that they are at a much higher risk for relapse, nearly threefold, compared to the other PET positive patients that are um, PET positive by Deauville score 3. Um, the endpoints were progression-free survival was assessed. That was the main endpoint for both questions. Um, well, actually, um, one conclusion is that standard of care is still um, the combined modality treatment consisting of chemotherapy, two cycles ABVD, plus radiotherapy, um, irrespective of PET results after chemotherapy. That's the one main, main result. And the other is that you could think of um, uh, therapy intensification in those patients that are PET positive with doubles called fear after, uh, for after um, the um, chemotherapy, because they do reverse um, and they might benefit from a more intense chemotherapy. No, it was, was great to work with different um, colleagues from very different countries. Uh, there are more than 350 trial centers contributed to this trial um, from Germany, Austria, Switzerland, the Netherlands. Um, yeah, and it was, uh, was really good to do this trial because now we know a little bit more um, about how to treat patients better. Mm -hmm.